Now, I remember when I was a kid, you know, coming up, like I said, I had to take that sand in the backyard, empty out the spinach can, and put in a bunch of beet sand in the backyard we used to have, you know, I'm rich and shit, pear tree with the real beet sand in the back, but, um, yeah, she didn't get me some print off, so, took my own life, man, I know it sucks, but, Back then, I was listening to Dr. Mindbender on on uh, G.I. Joe. And, you know, at least I was listening to somebody who feel like certain kind of powers would be granted to you. And I was always a G.O.D. fan. So I just thought Dr. Mindbender was right. Don't take my word for it. Let's hear from Dr. Mindbender. I was born with a pointy tail. I was born with some macaron glasses that cost 500. I was cold as hell. Had on a bomber jacket with the fur. You know me, had a high tech jacket. Put it on with the high tech boots. You know me, always quick to shoot for the loop. At the age of 10, I was the shit. Used to walk down the street, had a hella grip. Used to have a girlfriend next to me, don't even trip. She was 11, one year older than me, bitch. This is how we do it on the park. We used to like to rap after dark. We had everybody watching us. We was the Pharisees kicking up dust. But I'm an emperor. I am an emperor. This is part two, bruh. I'm an emperor. I am an emperor. An emperor. Grew up in my teens. Then I became a hustler on the scene. Wanted to be the same way I was as a child. Even before I took the sand and died, always had a smile. Knew the deal, deal, bring me back. When I came back at 17 on my side of the track, I had the same girl, 18. Used to hustle real hard on the scene. Back there, girls used to drink a lot. They didn't even smoke a lot. Had big asses, big teddy on the spot. You know how I do, I'm quick to jock. A girl like that, get them down with me. I'm an AK Pharisee, I want you chilling with me. I'm a motherfucking man, I want you living with me. You can come chill with me and see that I'm a emperor. That I'm a emperor. Had my own place at the age of 17. Had a girl living with me at 17. I am an emperor, I am an emperor, I had a baby from a girl living with me at the age of 18, in my twenties, had my own crib, never went girl living with this dude, bitch, I am an emperor, she was working for me, even when she was pregnant, see, when the baby came out, I wanted her to realize that I was an emperor without a doubt, so I gave her everything I had. When she went to school, she used to make a lot of people mad. When she graduated, she graduated in my all black caddy. She said, it's not my car, it belonged to my daddy. And this is what really make me happy, being a motherfucking emperor. I mean, you a motherfucking emperor, when well, your daughter can take your motherfucking Cadillac to, the, to her motherfucking high school, senior year, you know what I mean? Graduation that way, you know what I mean? Having her friends ride with her and my old black caddy. You see what I'm saying? For her graduation. Why you hating, nigga? Oh, that day, you know what I mean? It was a good day for the Emperor. Part two. Get ready, y'all. This is the brand new movie. I had to give it to you like this. Emperor. Gotta be born with it. Born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Golden spoon also. Golden tray also. Grandma used to be like, can't give me silver spoons because you're allergic to silver. You gotta have the golden spoon in your mouth. 
Anywhere I went, nobody had a golden spoon. <laughs> so I wear golden belts and eat with a golden spoon. Emperor, part two.